Okay, so the next app that we want to talk about is the Terminal app. As you would expect, the Terminal app will open up a web-based terminal, um, giving you direct access to the compute node that your project is running on. The default directory here, if we look at uh, our current path, is um, under Projects, my username, and the project name. This is also the project directory. This is the shared space that all members of the project will have access to. Um, because I'm at the the prompt here, if I want to, I could run IPython directly, and this would give me an interactive IPython prompt, and this is um, you know, a handy way to be able to get to interactive IPython if you don't want to work in the notebook for one reason or another. Uh, you can just uh, come here and work directly. You can also um, run Python directly here, write scripts, you know, edit scripts, and run them directly here as well. Um, another thing that's important is um, environments, and what I'm going to demonstrate now is how to create a custom environment for your project because the default environment that your project gets is basically the Anaconda root environment that's installed on this compute node. But oftentimes you're going to want a custom environment that's just for your project. So using Conda, I can create a project, uh, I'm sorry, create an environment for my project. And um, the recommendation is that you create this project directly, or this environment directly under your project uh, directory. And this way it's uh, included with your project. Then you use the dash P option um, to specify the full path to your environment. Um, give it a name. In this case, I'm naming it ENB at the end there. And then I'm going to put uh, just NumPy in there just as an example here. And I would say go ahead and create that. It's going to show me what um, packages it's going to put in there. I could put, of course, any packages I want. I could come back later and install additional packages. I'm going to create that environment. Now we see if we list this out that there's an ENB directory there. Um, if we look in ENV, there's a set of uh, directories and, and all the packages have been installed. Then I, could, I can install additional packages in here um, using Conda. I could also use pip or other installation methods and install additional packages into that environment. So that's basically the terminal app, you know, um, really handy, lets you do all the things you'd want to do in a terminal. And then I can go back to the project now. Now that I have the environment created, what I want to do is uh, I have to apply it to my project. So I need to go into this configuration app right here and uh, run that. And I'll be able to put the full path up here in the Conda environment. So I'm just going to say projects, jl1.env. And that's the full path to, to the environment. Then I'm going to go ahead and set that, um, save my changes. Now, in the process of setting this, it's going to shut down all the applications, any applications that I currently have running with this project. So if you have other team members or people on the project, you're going to want to uh, warn them ahead of time or, you know, let them, give them time to save their work and get off the project before you shut things down because you're basically resetting it. Um, and now the environment has been set. And now if I go and uh, run, say, for example, go back out and run IPython notebook, it will have that environment. Um, if I go into a new notebook here for an example, um, let's import, I'm sorry, import sys. And let's look at the uh, Sith prefix, and we see that it's pointing at that at that environment now. So my notebook is now um, directly at that environment instead of the default Conda environment. Um, so let's just go ahead and discard that. Set down. So that's a little bit uh, about the terminal app, and also how to create custom environment and associate that with your project. That concludes this demo of Wakari Enterprise. For more information, check out our other videos and websites.